Sahayogi, it magi yak nyava, apata, yen had a duck one night. It may mohote di apitama.
this, this afternoon, it's my pleasure to welcome the most reverend and the right honorable Justin Welby, the Lord Archbishop of Canterbury and the Metropolitan of the Church of Ceylon into our midst. With him, I warmly welcome his wife, Caroline Welby, Bishop Anthony Pogo, and also Canon David Porter. This cathedral is very special to our Archbishop. There's a secret. This cathedral was consecrated on the day our Archbishop was born, the exact day on our Archbishop was born. Therefore, he cannot forget this cathedral. And also, your grace, your presence reminds us that we are part of a global family, that we are not isolated, because the Anglican Church is in more than 165 countries. We come from various parts of the world. We are part of the body of Christ, although we are in an isolated island and in the middle of the country. Although we are different in many ways, sides, shapes, and functions, we belong to the body of Christ. Therefore, we thank you, your grace, for accepting our invitation to share the word of God and to break bread with us. Let us enjoy this act of worship. Thank you. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. Blessed be God. Mema Ashirwa the Mat Sandiabe Devian Idiriapage sit Sutivante sitting Yuktava Ekota. अपेक्षे सिद्ध देवयन वाहन सेवित और स्वास सिद्ध मुआ सितिन वचन इन सह क्रियाविन देवयंतात अपेक्षे सहोदर मानुष्य आदत देव मेविल लड़त अपातिन सिद्ध वेन सिद्ध वैरदी अत पशुवी अपे देवयंत किये मु देवयंत कलयुत पूजा वाणी Bindu nāvū sitakya, bindu nāvūt, telu nāvūt sit, un vahan se kisi kalikat sulu no karana seka. Mohatak nishchala vimin, api devya nidiri apage sit sodhi sikara gani mo.
the God of love and power, forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, whose Son Jesus Christ has taught us that what we do for the least of our brethren, we do also for him. Give us the will to be the servant of others as he was the servant of all, who gave up his life and died for us, but he is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 34, beginning at verse 11. God, the true shepherd. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of clouds and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from the countries and will bring them into their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the water courses and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. They shall lie down in good grazing land. They shall feed on the rich pasture 
on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost. I will bring back the strayed. I will bind up the injured, and I will bind up, sorry, I will strengthen the weak, and I will strengthen the weak, but the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. This is the end of the lesson. Thanks be to God. ஏனெனில் யூதரானாலும் கிரேக்கரானாலும் உரிமைக்குடி மக்களானாலும் நாம் எல்லாரும் ஒரே தூய ஆவியால் ஒரே உடலாய் இருக்கும்படி திருமுழுக்கு பெற்றோம் அந்த ஒரே ஆவியையே பானமாகவும் பெற்றோம் உடல் ஒரே உறுப்பால் ஆனது அல்ல பல உறுப்புக்களால் ஆனது நான் கையல்ல ஆகவே இவ்வுடலை சேர்ந்தவர் அல்ல என கால் சொல்லுமானால் அது அவ்வுடலை சேர்ந்ததில்லை என்றாகிவிடுமா நான் கண் அல்ல ஆகவே இவ்வுடலை சேர்ந்தவர் அல்ல என காது சொல்லுமானால் அது அவ்வுடலை சேர்ந்ததில்லை என்றாகிவிடுமா முழு உடலும் கண்ணா இருந்தால் கேட்பது எப்படி முழு உடலும் காதா இருந்தால் முகர்வது எப்படி உண்மையில் கடவுள் ஒவ்வொர் உறுப்பையும் தாம் விரும்பியவாறே உடலில் தா அமைத்தார் அவை யாவும் ஒரே உறுப்பாயிருந்தால் உடல் என ஒன்று இருக்குமா எனவே தான் பல உறுப்புக்களே உடையதாய் இருந்தாலும் உடல் ஒன்றே கண் கையை பார்த்து நீ எனக்கு தேவையில்லை என்றோ தலை கால்களை பார்த்து நீங்கள் எனக்கு தேவையில்லை என்றோ சொல்ல முடியாது மாறாக உடலில் மிக வலுவற்றனவாய் தோன்றோ உறுப்புக்களை மிகவும் தேவையானவையாய் இருக்கின்றன உடலின் மதிப்பு குறைவான உறுப்புக்கள் என நமக்கு தோன்றுபவற்றிற்கே நாம் மிகுந்த மதிப்பு கொடுக்கின்றோம் நாம் மறைவான உறுப்புக்களை மிகுந்த மதிப்பு பெறுகின்றன மறைந்திராத நம் உறுப்புக்களுக்கு அது தேவையில்லை மாறாக மதிப்பு குறைந்த உறுப்புக்களுக்கு மிகுந்த மதிப்பு கொடுத்தே கடவுள் உடலை ஒன்றித்து உருவாக்கினார் உடலின் பிளவு ஏற்படாமல் ஒவ்வொரு உறுப்பும் மற்ற உறுப்புக்களின் மீது ஒரே வித கவலை கொள்ள வேண்டும் என்று இப்படி செய்தார் ஓர் உறுப்பு துன்புற்றால் அதனுடன் மற்ற எல்லா உறுப்புக்களும் சேர்ந்து துன்புறும் ஓர் உறுப்பு பெருமை பெற்றால் அதனுடன் மற்ற எல்லா உறுப்புக்களும் சேர்ந்து மகிழ்ச்சியுறும் இது கடவுளின் வார்த்தை சமீதுன்னொப சமகை நொப சமகத சாமீதுன் சுத்தவு சுபாஸ்ன சுத்தவர யோஹான் துமான் தனுவலியனலாத சுபாஸ்னே தாவினி பரிச்சேதையன் பிரகாஷவன சுபாஸ்னட சவன்தென்ன Samiluni obahat ve
यहापत बैठलू इंडेरा वेमी यहापत इंडेरा तम जीवित बैठलुआन उदेशा पूजा करने इंडेर कुनोवन ऐसे म बैठलुआन गे आयती कार याद नोवन खुली कार या उर के आए नु देख बैठलुआन हर दामा फलायन ने वुर के आद उन्वित कड़ा पैन विश्रुवा हरिन्ने ओहु फलायन ने ओहु कुली कारे कुवन निसार बैठलुवन गैन सलकिल्लक ओहु टनस नेती निसात्य मम यहाँ पर बैठलु इने रावे मी मम मागे बैठलु अन अंधुनमी ओहुद मा अंधुनती पियानन वहन से माद मा पियानन वहन से द अंधुनन नाक में मम मागे बैठलु अन अंधुनमी बैठलु अन उदेशा मागे दिवि पुदमी तावद में रेलट आई थी नोबु अनबैटलु फोड मट ऐता है माउन द गिन आयुतु ये ओहु मागे हंडट ऐहुं कम देती मिसे एक रेलक्द एक इंडेरिक्द वन्ना है मापियानन मट प्रेम करने माँ नेवत लबन पिनिस माँ के दिवी पुदन बेवीनी किसी वेक ए माँ के न पैर नोगानी थी माँ के म के मेतिन मम ए पुदमी ए पुदन्नट मट बालयति बे ए याली कन्नट द मट बालयति बे मेनियम ये मागे पियानन वान से गिन लदीमी वादाल से क कितु समी दुंगे सुबह आसन में से कितु ही मियानी ही मिवे As we stand, let us pray. Lord Jesus, draw close to us and open our hearts and minds to the word we have heard read, that the word is, that was read may become the word that is lived. Amen. First of all, I would like to thank you for the warm welcome here in Kiranagula, uh, in this diocese, in Kandy, and all across Sri Lanka. And I thank Bishop Ketasiri Fernando for the privilege and the invitation of speaking in his cathedral, in your cathedral, today. Let me repeat what I said yesterday in Colombo, that I am here to stand in solidarity with you following the attacks that Sri Lanka experienced on Easter Sunday. You all were at that time and continue to be in our prayers and the prayers of many others through the world. 
The attack on churches and hotels in Sri Lanka was appalling and despicable. The gospel calls us to reject all forms of violence, all hatred, all attempts at division. We are called to be those who work together for peace and reconciliation. Terrible attacks such as these are aimed at causing division and hatred. Pride denies our need of God and says we are sufficient of ourselves. Attempts at domination through pride-filled misuse of power led to the murder of innocent people and resulted in devastation. On that morning, I called Bishop Dilaraj Kanagase, Kanagase, sorry, my apologies, I'm English, Kanagasebe, to offer my condolences and assure him and you of my prayers and the prayers of all Christians in England. My conversation to him was a great encouragement to me. One of the things he said was, if God gives me permission to live, I will live. If he gives me permission to die, I will die. <laughs> On that Easter morning, <coughs> when people sought to destroy our message of light and life, Bishop Dilo's words were a reminder that we put our hope in Jesus Christ, risen from the dead. And so I appeal to you all, be witnesses to the resurrection. Christians must show how to live resurrection life so that the rest of the world may see that in forgiving one another, in loving one another, in making visible what is not visible, the presence of God in our lives, we demonstrate the truth of Christ. And in today's readings, we find an image that is very close to the questions that people will be asking themselves in Sri Lanka. We started with an image that goes back a thousand years to the shepherd psalm, Psalm 23. And it is an image that is picked up in many of the Old Testament prophets. We heard Ezekiel using that image this morning, this afternoon. Ezekiel distinguishes between good shepherds who love their sheep and bad shepherds who use the sheep only to their own advantage. Even today, in the 21st century, the many parts of Asia, Africa, and the Middle East, this lesson is still true where many people are pastors who look after animals for their livelihood. And in the Bible, the Good Shepherd is seen as God himself, who is to be followed and imitated by other leaders, kings and rulers. The rulers may protect from the dangers of life, but rulers are to follow the pattern of Jesus because the Lord is my shepherd. So when Jesus says, I am the good shepherd, everyone will have known he was claiming to be God, not a good shepherd, but the good shepherd. And he goes on to say that the difference between a good shepherd and a bad one is that a good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. 
Jesus talks about the hired hand who runs away and leaves the sheep to the wolf or the bear or the lion. And the good shepherd who gives his life for the sheep. Both the hireling and the shepherd like being shepherds, but the good shepherd loves the sheep. The bad one just loves the job of being a shepherd, not the sheep, so he runs away. In verse 14, Jesus says, I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Do you remember each day that Jesus knows you? He knows each other person too, but he knows you. And the sign of that is that you begin to know him. One of the good qualifications of a shepherd is that the animals know their owner. In the South Sudan, I am told by Bishop Anthony, who comes from there, that each animal that is owned has its own name. Each creature is unique and is called by its name. And the Dinka people, who are great pastoralists, even write songs about their animals. And the same is true in many other communities. In Lesotho in South Africa, as in Israel and Palestine, shepherds walk in front of their flocks. The sheep follow the shepherd. In the villages, all the sheep of the village are in one enclosure at night. And in the morning, each shepherd comes and calls the sheep with his own call. And because the sheep know his voice, they follow the right shepherd, not a different shepherd. The shepherd leads the sheep to new pasture. The bad shepherd uses the sheep in Ezekiel for his own gain. He puts his personal interest first and not that of his flock. But this raises a difficult question for each of us. Here in Sri Lanka, the sheep were bombed. The sheep were torn apart. The sheep bled and died. Where was the shepherd? All over the world, the sheep of Jesus suffer. Where is the shepherd? Is he, Jesus really the good shepherd? And the answer is yes, because he fulfills the test of a good shepherd. He lays down his life for the sheep. He loved the sheep, us. And he died on the cross and rose from the dead so that we can be with him in life and safety and joy. And Jesus was there on Easter Sunday. In the Church of St. Sebastian, the Roman Catholic Church in Colombo, in Colombo, there is a statue of Jesus covered in blood. The blood is real. It was from those who were there. But it is also the blood of the body of Christ, the church. For anything that is done to God's church is done to God. 
who suffered and wept with you and for you. When choosing leaders, whether in the church or leaders in society, we need to ask the question, what do we expect from our leaders? A very simple answer is we expect our leaders to look after us well. In other words, we expect them to be pastors. We expect from our leaders that they follow the pattern of the Bible. Pope Francis, speaking of bishops as shepherds, which is why they carry a pastoral staff. Pope Francis said this, the shepherds should be so close to the sheep that he smells of the sheep. When the shepherd comes into the room, you know he's been with the sheep because he's smelly. He smells like a sheep. And you have to say, go and wash. It may sound too much to expect such ministry for our leaders. It is not. Priests are the people who help other people see God and come closer to him. They guide people towards good values, attitudes, ethics, and morals. We need the kind of ministry we see in the Bible from our leaders. Politicians need to show that sort of leadership. Jesus challenged the politicians to care for the sheep. He told the rich that they would face woes if they did not care for the poor. The, sh the bishop is the shepherd of God's flock. As a shepherd, he leads the people to make sure they are cared for. He does this with the support of the clergy and other lay leaders who work with the bishop, the lay ministers and lay people. He should protect the flock from attack. In our case, that means he must teach the truth from the Bible so the sheep do not stray. That is why Jesus says to Peter, take care of my sheep. But you know, the pastoral staff that is carried by the bishop can be looked at in two ways. It can be a sign that he's a shepherd, or it can be as a sign of his disciplinary power. It can be a sign to the bishop that they are important. It's very easy as an archbishop to think you are important. I sometimes, as I travel around on trips like this, and everyone carries my suitcase, everyone looks after me, I could think that I was an important person. But when I go home and I see my children, my youngest daughter will put her hand on my head and say, Dad, you're losing even more of your hair. And then I know I am not important. I'm just another person whom Jesus loves and to whom he has given a job. And that is true for every human being in this cathedral. They are loved and they are called. And those who lead the church, bishops, priests, lay ministers, 
those who lead worship, who sing, who play the drums. You are not important. You are those who are there to serve, as am I. Sometimes the drummer can be so noisy to show what a good drummer he is that no one can hear him, can hear themselves sing. Sometimes the musicians want a concert and forget that people need to join in and sing to Jesus. Sometimes bishops are authoritarian and proud. It is true of the history in our church. Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. Two years ago at Easter, I went to a small church on Maundy Thursday, the Thursday before Easter. I was not in the cathedral. It was a small church in a very poor area. There were in the cathedral normally 2,000 people, but at this church there were 20, 25 people, and they were truly poor. Many of them had bad or no shoes. They were dirty, it was winter. They were sleeping outside each night in the freezing cold. They had no baths. They smelt. They had not been able to wash some of them for weeks. They did not normally go to church. They did not know who I was and they did not care who I was. And the person leading the service said, will you wash their feet? Well, at the cathedral, I wash feet on Maundy Thursday. Maybe you do it here. It's an old symbol. And the people who are going to have their feet washed are told in advance. And they come to church with their feet so clean because they've been washing them all day that I could eat food off their feet and not get an infection. But these people in this little church, I could smell their feet five meters away. And when they put their feet in the basin of water, the dirt was everywhere. That was what Jesus did. That is what is meant by being a shepherd. To be with the sheep, to serve. Today's reading from Ezekiel tells us of good and bad shepherds. Today's reading from John tells us, I am the good shepherd, says Jesus. We are to imitate him. Today's reading from Corinthians tells us that each person here today has a place, a job, a role in the church. Man and women, child and adult, old person, young person, those who are strong, those who are weak, those who are skilled, those who have few skills. Each is called by Jesus Christ. When we work together as the body of Christ, then we find Christ in our midst, even when we are attacked. We find faith to trust him when we suffer. When we all contribute to the life of Christ and the leaders are good shepherds, we come to meet the shepherd, the chief shepherd, who draws us close to him in his love and gives us hope in our troubles. Amen.
දැන් අපගේ අකට අද ගුරුතුමා අපගේ අභිනව ලේක් කාතාතුමා ආසනික ගන්න නැති එතුමා නීතිඥ දිනේෂ් ජයවර්ධන මහතා නව් ද මෙට්‍රොපොලිටන් ඔෆ් ද චර්ච් ඔෆ් සිලෝන් මෝස්ට් රෙවරන් ඇන්ඩ් රයිට් ඔනරබල් ජස්ටින් වෙල් බි විල් බ්ලෙස් ආ නිව් රෙජිස්ට්‍රා ඔෆ් ද ඩයිසිස් ඔෆ් කුරුණෑකල registrar it is a great pleasure and privilege to be able to bless you almighty and everlasting god from whom comes every good and perfect gift send down upon our registrar and upon the responsibilities committed to his charge the healthful spirit of your grace and so that he may truly please thee pour upon him the continual dew of your blessing fill him with the love of truth and righteousness make him ever mindful of his calling to serve this people in your fear grant this o lord for the honor of our advocate and mediator jesus christ amen Please stand and we say the creed. I believe in God, the Father almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified died and was buried he descended to hell the third day he rose again from the dead he ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of god the father almighty from there he will come to judge the living and the dead i believe in the holy spirit the holy catholic church the communion of saints the forgiveness of sins the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting amen ungalai potugindrom ungalai vaalthugindrom ungalai vanangugindrom magalchigaramana inda velayile yetkai anarthangalinalum yutta soolnilegalinalum paadikapattavargal varumai kootin keel vaalbavargal purakanikkapattavargal perun thotangalilum vayal veligalilum கடின உழைப்புக்கு உட்பட்டிருக்கும் உழைப்பாளிகள் நோயினால் பாதிக்கப்பட்டவர்கள் தமது உள்ளங்களிலும் இல்லங்களிலும் சமாதானமற்று வாழ்கின்ற மக்கள் போதை வஸ்துகளுக்கு அடிமைப்பட்டிருப்ப இருப்பவர்கள் பலவிதமான சவால்களுக்கு முகம் கொடுத்து கொண்டிருக்கும் எமது பிள்ளைகள் பெண்கள் மற்றும் தேவைகளோடு வாழ்கின்ற அனைவரையும் உங்கள் வல்லமையுள்ள கரங்களில் அர்ப்பணித்து நாங்கள் ஏசு வழியாக மன்றாடுகின்றோம் ஆண்டவரே எங்கள் மன்றாட்டை கேட்டாலும் எங்கள் விண்ணப்பம் முடித்து செய்வார்கள் அப்பே அப்பே ரட்டகன யாக்ஞாக்கரமு அப்பே ரட்டே ஜனாதிபதி அகமதி அதுரு சீலு ஜனநாயகின் ஹா சீலும் ஜனதா உதிசா யாக்ஞாக்கரமு சீலோம தினாட சபை பிரேமேகின் யுக்தவ எக்கினைக்காட் சேவை கரண்ட் புழுவன்கம லபின பினிச அப்பே யாக்ஞாக்கரமு சீலோம ஜனதாவட்ட பிரீத்திம ஜீவித தவசின் தவச லபின பினிச அப்பி ஆக்ஞாக்கரமு சுவாமீனி அப்பகே ஆக்ஞாவ சுமனவ அப்பகே ஹனக சீம வாம்சேதர ஹமினேவா லெட் அஸ் ப்ரே ஃபார் தி ஆங்கிலிகன் கம்யூனியன் ஃாதர் இன் ஹெவன் வி ப்ரே ஃபார் யுவர் சர்ச் தி ஆங்கிலிகன் கம்யூனியன் இன் आवर லேண்ட் அண்ட் ஆல் ஓவர் தி வேர்ல்ட் and most humbly beseech you to abide with our church be our savior lord and guide and protect us in all our undertakings lead us in the path of righteousness help us to bravely stand up against all forms of injustice and grant us father 
the heavenly gift of peace. Lord, hear our prayer. Let our prayer come unto thee. Hasten, O Father, the coming of thy kingdom, and grant that we and all your servants, being strengthened together in the eternal fellowship of the Holy Spirit, may with joy behold your Son at his coming again in glorious majesty, even Jesus Christ, our only mediator. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, come. The risen Jesus came among his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Then were they glad when they saw the Lord. Peace be with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of our love in Christ.
मार्गे අපට මග දක්වමින් ඔබ වහන්සේගේ මහිමතාවෙහි දැක්මක් අප ඉදිරියේ තැබීම පිළිබඳව දැන් අපි ඔබ වහන්සේට තුති පුදමු ඒ බැවින් දේව දූතයන් හා ප්‍රධාන දේව දූතයන්ද මුළු ස්වර්ගීය සේනා සමූහයද සමග අපි තේජවන්ත වූ ඔබගේ නාමය වර්ණනා කරමින්
Holy indeed are you, almighty Father, eternal sovereign, who in all your gifts and words manifest your holiness to all humanity. Holy is your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, through whom you did order the universe. And holy is your ever-blessed Spirit who reveals all things, even the deep things of you, O God. Just as you yourself are holy, so also you created us in your own image that we might live in holy fellowship. And when we disobeyed your commandments, you did not abandon us, but you guided us as a merciful Father who revealed yourself to us through the great sages, the law and the prophets, and through your acts in history. And when the time was right, you spoke to us specifically through your son Jesus, whom you sent into the world to share our human nature in order that he might revive your own image in us. Father, Jesus loved us and sacrificed himself for us and heralded the new age in breaking bread with his friends. On the very night that he was betrayed to suffer death upon the cross for us, the Lord Jesus took bread and when he had given thanks to you, almighty Father, he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup also, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink, all of you, from this, for this is, my new, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. We proclaim your death. O Lord, and live by your reception, and await your coming again. Dandi, Umure Mulusabeodum, Puni the Marial, Matum Puni the Hill, Uravodum, Nam in the Apathe, Rasatheim, Umakum, Vaite, our Emakah and Eravetia, Anitikah, Havam Nan Result the Hindro, Christavin Valve, Maranam, Uitpe, Marchi, Anitinadum, Nan Mehale, Emaku Arali, Varapogandraway, Anitikah, Havam Yame, Aita Partivad Kai, Umak Nandri Kurigandro, Christe, Marabadi Varampode, Udamparamanda Vunaka Virendil Pangukola, Namavalai, Edir Parte, Katirikindrom, Mahai Rakamula Tandaye, Mother Punida Vianaver, Yemeasi Vadite Punida Parti, Inda Mother Kodegale Yumasi Vadite, Witherum Avarade Valameal, Ekodegal Yemeke, Mother and Pan the Mindanin, Udalum, Retamumag Arapurinde. Then I would call him Nam to him a perta padavum, Umadar alum, Unadasi alum, Nerapa padavum, Vernimendre, who may burn the syndrome. May Rotia Kabaliki remain, Abbe Christus Sohan Sege, Sirre Pangu Karuan, no one Nemuda, one day, Mayor, Holy Kumoni, Ekapuri, 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 Ok, 
The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. The gift of God for the people of God. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Draw near with faith, receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave you in his blood, which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but, but only say the word, word and I shall be
Heavenly Father, loving shepherd of the people, we have you for your serv we have you for your servant John Bunyan, writer and preacher, all servants of God, who was faithful in the care and nurture of your flock, and we pray that we may follow the good, good of his example and grow into the fullness of the statue of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank, thank you for you feeding you. us with the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Go forth into the world in peace, be of good courage, 
Hold fast that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honor everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. So I would like to call upon uh, our Grace Archbishop to come forward and also Bishop Kirti to come forward. Your Grace Archbishop of Canterbury, the most reverend and Right, Honorable Justin Welby, Mrs. Welby, Right Reverend Anthony Pogo, Canon David Porter, the presiding bishop of Church of Ceylon, Reverend Dilo, Right Reverend Diloraj Kanakasabe, the Bishop of Kurunagala, Right Reverend Keith C. Fernando and Mrs. Fernando. Archdeacon of Colombo, Venerable Harry Bohia, Archdeacon of Kurnagala, Venerable George Melder, my dear clergy, distinguished invitees, guests, members of the congregations, and friends. We are indeed thankful, this, thankful for this great moment in the life of our diocese to have the this historical solidarity visit of your great grace, the most and right honorable Justin Welby and Mrs. Welby, Bishop Pogo and Canon David Potter to Sri Lanka, as well as to the Church of Ceylon, and especially to the Diocese of Kurunagala today. We are reminded by your words how important it is to live in harmony and love each other. And we as a diocese always do our best to achieve this. We as a diocese also realize the importance of the living together with all people of different faiths and beliefs and with people of all ethnicities. We continue to pray that we will be able to live as Sri Lankans. 
we hope that this this visit fruitful and important informative experience on remembering the fondest memories of this solidarity visit and we take this opportunity to wish you all the blessings of god almighty for your great ministry in anglican communion as our spiritual leader in god's kingdom further further we sincerely thank our dear convenable george melder and all organizing committee members diocesan office staff parishes organizations clergy laity for the support we got from the diocese of colombo and all who made this event a success with their committed contributions direct indirect and financially with prayers i very specially thank of all of you present at this holy eucharist service in this evening we now cordially invite your grace most right honorable justin welby to receive but when and mrs welby bishop pogo and canon david potter to receive a token of appreciation from the diocese of kurnagala and i invite the bishop of kurnagala right reverend kees if i hand to hand over this token thank you can i have madam carlin on front please This is a gift from us to you as vicar of the cathedral, a chalice and paten. May you pray for us when you use it as we pray for you. It's got two bits and they break. And could I have the principal of the college please, principal designate? And uh, this is a contribution to your library or alternatively a very heavy book to throw at students whichever you prefer <laughs> but it's a a a a, a dictionary of anglicanism explaining that so will perhaps be helpful to your students
Almighty God who has given us the city of Kurunagira for our heritage. We humbly beseech thee that the people of this city may always prove themselves people mindful of thy favor and glad to do thy will. Bless the city with honorable diligence, sound learning, and pure manners. Save the people of this city from violence, discord, and confusion, from pride and arrogance, and from every evil way. Defend their liberties and fashion into one united people the multitudes brought hither out of many kindreds and tongues. Endue with the spirit of wisdom those to whom in thy name you have entrusted the authority of government, that there may be justice and peace at home, and that through allegiance to thy law, the Christians may show forth thy praise among the others of this In the time of prosperity, Fill hearts with thankfulness, and in the day of suffer not their trust in thee to fail, all of which we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Happy Yankee, Yankee, Remove.